Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. Oops, this is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. At the end, I will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate the, your patience. Um, we are all on different timelines. This can be happening for you now. Time is very elusive. This may be happening in the future. Could have already happened. You know your story. Put yourself where you fit. If it doesn't fit, it's not your story. First card out, strongest energy for the week. We have Six of Swords, followed by Major Arcana, the Magician, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo could be important to you. May have that in your chart. And the Three of Pentacles. So, moving on, moving forward. I don't know, some of you, this could be with work. This could be within a, a community that you belong to, within a friendship circle. Or just between you and someone else. Maybe a Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo in particular. But there is a sense of wanting to reach resolution. Okay, that Six of Swords is, um, you know, moving out of a very turbulent period. You know, emotions might have been running high. Maybe some things were said agreement uh you know we were not seeing eye to eye but this is someone that either you want to sort of reach resolution with or they would definitely like to reach resolution with you especially with this three of pentacles here it's all about dreamworks makes a teamwork get on doing what it's got to do you know being um cooperative some of you this is a family member with this ten of pentacles here and for some of you this is definitely work this is like negotiating some sort of deal or you know because the outcome is the king of pentacles which is all about stability um you know planting roots longevity and the two of wands making a decision bottom of the deck we have the knight of wands the seven of wands lots of wands and the queen of pentacles so we have the king and queen of pentacles here true pair situation if this is romantic very much someone that is your match very so much someone that is your match Heavy emphasis on um, Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, with Capricorn in particular, Pisces. So, whether this is romantic or not, this is definitely someone you care for and they care for you as well. The Two of Cups here represents mutual interest. It could definitely be between you and your employer as well. You both have mutual interest. You both um, find the partnership to be profitable for both people. Especially with the Two of Wands here, that's all about new contracts and new partnerships. Two Twos, you could be seeing that as a synchronicity. This is also a decision, making a very clear decision to move forward in a particular direction, knowing the direction in which you want to go in, first of all. That's the hardest part, right? And then making a decision to go there. There is a lot of stability around this, surrounding this decision, though. For some of you, this is definitely a connection that you have with someone probably have not been seeing eye to eye, or maybe this person has not been showing up in, you know, in their best light, because that Knight of Wands can be very much um, unreliable can be a player but not necessarily this is just someone that is unreliable you know they say they're going to be there for nine and it's like oh they call they're late they're at work or they show up at 10 it's like they're just not you can't really count on them to be there they always got something going on definitely could be dealing with someone that likes to work a lot too with that king of pentacles you might have put some boundaries out and i think that's what's forcing this person to, to make a, a decision on how they want to show up here you might be definitely demanding some things. Because for those of you where this is work, you're definitely uh, asking for what you want. This is a contract that's about to be signed. You're definitely not afraid to ask for what you want. Because you know your value, you know your worth. You know your worth. Whatever number you're asking for, you know you're worth that. Yeah. And you know you would be a very much a beneficial asset to whatever company it is you're trying to negotiate with here. But it is a negotiation, nonetheless. Whether it's you know a romantic relationship or work. You know your value, you know your worth, and you're not going to really, you're not taking less. So it's either they get in line or they get lost. It looks like they're going to get in line, though, because they also see value in this. They also see value in the connection. They see longevity, long-term potential. Yeah, and they're going to do everything in their power with this magician here and this king of pentacles that's giving me. I'm going to do everything in my power to make this work because I do want to move forward. I do want to cooperate. I do want this to work long term. This person definitely sees you as a, 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 a good match. Yeah, definitely. Very loving individual too. They could also be seeing you as 
and that there will be progress going from the two to the three of cups so it does look like a contract will be reached because that devil card can represent definitely contract contractual agreement but whatever this contract is it's definitely gonna alleviate a lot of burden it's gonna alleviate a lot of burden it's gonna take a lot of um, pressure off of your shoulders yeah some of you definitely like told this person to hit the road <laughs> Because you ain't buying what they sell in, okay? Guidance, please, for Pisces if this is a romantic situation. So, negotiation. Heavy, heavy emphasis on negotiation, whether this is work or some sort of con uh, partnership. Looks like do uh, contracts will be signed. Commitments will be made. And you're definitely, you're being advised. Ask for what you're worth. Why are my cards wet? Let me ask for what you're worth. That's a whole nother issue. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay. In the bottom of the deck, we have like of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. That could be you. Could be the both of you. Because um, that Capricorn card could also be a sense of control. But I kind of get the both of you are kind of doing the control thing. Showing up as both earth signs. The both of you are trying to control the narrative, which, you know. But that's the whole point of negotiating. It's it's both parties getting exactly what they want, but there has to be, you know, everything requires negotiation. How can we how can we make both of us happy? How can we make the both of us happy? We gotta reach some kind of uh, understanding. I do think uh, understandings will be reached. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini, and luck is on your side. There's our Sagittarius energy. Heavy emphasis on Sag. Guidance, please, for Pisces. We have fire sign. Uh-huh. That's that Sag energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. That's definitely what's going on in honeymoon. Honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding, intimacy, sexual chemistry. Okay, so there definitely is a review coming up. What can I do to make this work? What can you do to make this work? Do we even want to make this work? You, This person might, but you might not want to. I just seen it's up to you. For all my cards are flying. Pisces, one card, please. Okay, this for Pisces. Okay, we have a year from now and improving health, and you're ready. Okay, one of my cards are missed up as usual, right? Okay, we'll deal with that later. Guidance, please, for Pisces. Thank you. We have uncovering confidence. Okay, that could also be what's going on here. Someone maybe lacked confidence. I am the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Someone's either looking at you as the final piece to their little puzzle of life, or the both of you are kind of looking at each other that way. Like you are kind of like what I've been looking for, what I've been wanting, but it's, you know, being being real and letting that be known. Guidance, please. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Told you. Time to collaborate. Ant spirit number one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Heavy emphasis on that and clear out the clutter yeah okay that is your reading pisces hopefully it resonates with you thumbs me up do not forget to subscribe see you guys next week